Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 261, June 27th, end of the month that's be the halfway point, end of the halfway point. I don't, I don't know. I, I had something there. It's the end of June. We are going to be talking about uh, triage. We're going to do issue triage because uh, we have a few issues that have come up. Uh, then we're going to talk about uh, my Wix 5 feature. I do not have the whip done. I'm sorry, but we'll talk about what I'm planning to do, at least at a high level, and hope it all works out. Then we'll do questions and comments uh, for everybody that's here live with us. If you're not, uh, this meeting was recorded uh, for those of you that weren't with us right here, right now. Uh, and that's all I got. Let's go ahead and jump into triage and kind of like get this uh, show on the road. Uh, triage, Bob. Ready? I'm ready. All right. I just plowed right through that agenda. Um, this is a heat wave thing. 7524 at the top and the 7543. Both of these we need to go get our heat wave people to go pull these over, I think is what we said we were going to do, right? Yep. In case it isn't obvious, we both, both Bob and I have been a little bit crazy. Um uh getting these done at fire giant so we're a little bit behind on pushing all the stuff from here back into fire giant and so on and so forth so technically i've just been busy <laughs> I, I, I passed the test i'm not crazy oh right okay gotcha you passed it i need that test uh seven five five two support logging to console and burn i want to see the progress the command touch feature add a con log to regular files. Oh, I remember seeing this. Yeah, so the idea is to also be able to attach to the console and get logging out. And um, no, we don't No, we don't want another logging thing. I'd rather that if we do something like this, that we get the logging going out the embedded pipe. So then you can do that whole running the burn embedded and get all the stuff out that way. So well, that works today. Uh, what are you talking about? Well, that works for some progress. If he wants more progress, then um, I would rather anything that he wants to add here should go through that pipeline. So the feature is interesting. If there are things missing from the embedded reporting, I forgot what it's called. Embedded messages, burn embedded, well, me whatever it, it, the. Yeah, it's it, it's just the burn protocol, which does mean we're not getting we're not getting log messages. Right. So I think it would be, I think this feature, if you want more logging is to enhance that feature that already exists rather than adding another, another command line switch and another logging and all that kind of stuff. So I think that's the way to take this feature, but not this way, not another route, creating a console and all that kind of stuff, you know, attaching to the console. We don't need all that in burn. It's just more code to carry around. That doesn't help if you do the embedded way, right? So Let's route all this through embedded. I think that's the way to do this. Which, you know, required an interesting design change, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it could be updated to handle all that. Well, it's, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm kind of stuck. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know what you're actually proposing. Instead of adding a new command line switch that sends logging out to the console, change the embedded logging to be able to send mess the, any extra messages that would have gone out through this con logging through the embedded message uh, mechanism, and then have CICD be able to use that for this scenario. I'd rather see this scenario use the embedded, the already existing burn embedded feature and add features to that if it's missing, than to create a whole new feature attaching to a console log outside and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so two questions, one mm -hmm. or comments. Perhaps uh, one is that the embedded protocol doesn't. Uh, the embedded protocol has has very specific things that it sends. Are you talking about adding to the embedded protocol to yeah. be able to send arbitrary strings, or, or or another thing that says this is a log message, right? Like embed enhancing that protocol if there is more to send. Uh, okay. Um, second, that does no good for the for the use case. You're talking about needing another another process to attach to the embedded protocol. Sure. I mean, yes. Then you'd have to run a burn runner to get this, but like our sample could be used to do that. Just print it out to the command line. 
yes, it it does then require a, bun, a burn runner, but I'm pretty sure that's what the sample does, which is just spit all the message out the console, which would give you this scenario then in the end. It's not as direct as, hey, let's just add another switch, slap this on, have burn attached to a console that already exists and reroute all of the log messages out to that. All those extra kinds of things. It's just all that adds a whole nother path of logging to burn to get external things to be able to watch the progress of burn. I'd rather we enhance the system that burn has that then and reuse that and improve that rather than add another separate thing that does a similar but not quite everything the other one does to have one way of doing the embedded logging right but it requires another process so the the use case is not satisfied sure and then we would have and then if they said yeah and now you need to have the burn log runner then fine we could have the burn log runner as part of the ci cd i'd be like here put this in your cidc if you want to see run burn as an embedded well, I, yeah, I was I was more referring to the fact that this feature would this feature essentially exists. You're proposing to enhance it. It still doesn't address the fact that that it would not be natively available. You would need another tool to do this. Sure, and if that tool, if you know, I'd rather maintain that tool honestly, then maintain two separate logging systems or reporting systems out of burn. Because that tool is very small. Yeah. Yes, but it's external. I, I, I'm, I'm stuck on that. It's external. It, what do you mean it's external? It's not. It, it, you cannot get a bundle and get console logging. True. Well, Jacob, that what I just said. Right now, you cannot get console logging from a bundle, and in Rob's proposal, that is that continues to be the case. Yeah, if you want that, run it in embedded mode. Well, yes, I know, and you need a tool to do that. Okay. I'm saying that this isn't a core scenario that I think that should be built in the burn engine. The okay. core scenario is reporting progress, and the core scenario of having additional information come through that embedded logging, I could see that adding more information than what's there today. That makes sense to me. Yes, let's make that embedded uh, reporting mechanism more powerful. Great. And then you're like, okay, but now I need another tool to run a burn bundle embedded. Yes, that's true. But that's because the core scenario of having console written out to having logging written to the console is not a core scenario of the burn engine itself should not be built in the burn engine and can then be provided by something on the outside. Right. Okay. That's where I'm. At. Jacob and I are on the same page. It's not a. It's not a core oh. scenario that should live in the burn engine. We. I am. I'm all for enabling it, but not building it inside the burn engine itself. Although enhancing the burn engine to have more and better logging coming out of it through the embedded mechanism. I'm. That makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I. Do you think we should support this con logging inside burn, like as a core feature? I. I don't consider it to be a second kind of logging. I mean, you know, they're near sent to pull request and there's almost no changes in burn. Logutil got some work. The burn itself got very little. Um, so I, to be clear, I'm fine with, with pushing scenarios out of the engine. Um, you know, we've had this discussion. I think the burn engine is too big. Yeah. I think more stuff ought to live in extensions, for example. Yep. Um, so I, uh, I'm not objecting to that. I am objecting to the, you know, you need another tool. That's a problem. No, I, I, I see that as a problem. I don't think that, I mean, if that's a problem, then we should make it more common for people that want to bring and run burn embedded to get its logging out of it. We should make it more common. Like we, we should basically say, here's how you do it. We don't talk about it a lot today because mostly the protocols for burn getting progress to itself. Again, the, the, you're still thinking about an external tool. Yes. I just, you know, I, I, I and yeah, so I think I, all I'm the not, people that are using it will be fine. We'll just get another tool. Just use that. All right. Mostly because I don't want more, I don't want these two paths inside the burn engine. 
again, it's not two paths, but okay. I'd rather there be one path for getting this logging out of the embedded case if it's not sufficient. That's what I would like to see. Okay. I withdraw my objection. <laughs> no, I, I, I understand your point. I, I just, the fundamentals is I don't want more in the burn engine to maintain. It definitely isn't a core scenario. And my point is that it should be possible to make this doable without requiring an external tool. I don't know if we can do it today with an extension. I'm suggesting if someone wants this functionality and to bake it into their bundles, it should be possible to do that without requiring an external tool. That, that is, the, the acquisition of the external tool is a pretty big hump. So I, I'm, you know, I, I'm fine with a more elegant solution, but I do believe that that is a bigger hump that so, frankly, so, you don't, so, you don't often need. So right? to this, to that point, if you said, we also want to be able to route logging all the logging messages to the BA, I probably wouldn't be against that either because getting logged to the BA wouldn't be bad either. Okay, sure. Because then the BA could be like, yeah, I'm going to go talk to the console and do the thing. All right. But, all right, so less in the core burn engine. And I'd like to rather see the two mechanisms that exist enhanced because I also think those will benefit us in other places as well. All right. Ah, all right, let's see. A harvest tasks in Wix 4. Control output for harvest tasks in Wix 4. He should be beneficial to control the output path of the resulting WXS. All right, cool. Someone could do that. I assume you're not interested in that. If anybody's interested in that, they can say, hey. Otherwise, yeah, we'll put it up for grabs. Someone could go look at that. Yeah, that works for me. Um, this could be the same thing. Harvest suppressed unique IDs does not take un effect under harvest directory item. That's entirely possible. Another thing that probably could be added to support it inside those things. All right, cool. That's up for grabs too. If someone wants to go play with that. Cannot build with Wix tool set to fix app with Wix extension. Cannot find library binary. Hmm. This is documented. Oh, is it? This is documented. The Remember, diffix app has a problem where the different um, architectures have the same names and the custom, same custom action IDs. Oh, this is a library. I missed that. I see. I really wish yeah. they would put this part in the title because that's actually the kicker. But fine, 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 fine. All right, got it. Cannot build a library with diffix app Wix extension. No, it's, no, no. This is diffix app. You must use, we, we ship Wix libs in diffix app. Yeah. Because we have to keep them separate because of the overlapping IDs. Oh, did we not? Oh, we, right. We couldn't solve we that. Can't. Right. We can't. We can't fix right, that right, right. because the code. Yeah. I forgot that. I didn't, unfortunately. Well, I'm glad you remembered because I totally, I think I've suppressed all this. All right. So yeah. this is, uh, what well, is also this? Also, app is deprecated. So yeah, the whole <clears throat> thing here is on last legs. I don't know. Right, whatever. I had a better analogy there. Um, I was thinking Balsa Wood Bridge, but that didn't at all work. And I don't know why that was what came in my brain. Um, yeah. So external and then link to the doc, I guess. Because it's their Wix lib that is the root of this. Otherwise, yeah, we could have done something smarter. So, um, substitution does not create module substitution when building a merge module. Hmm, that's a bummer. That's not good. Bummer. So we missed substitution. I'm sure there's a test case missing for this. All right. I think I feel bad about that. I'll take it for Wix 5 and we'll fix it. Look at fixing it. So that's a bummer. Uh, page not fast. Schema URIs are not URLs. I was going to say, that's true. Why is this a bug? <laughs> um, because we were linking. Oh, we were linking to them? We weren't, but uh, DocuSource was. Uh, the tool was linking. I see. All right. 
So if you have if you have something that looks like a URL, it will turn it into a link. So you've made a pull. Rec All right, you've 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 solved this problem, prevent yes. docu source from hyperlinking, and then you reopened it. Yes. Okay. Why is there more to do? I want credit. No, I just wanted to make sure that we, you know, hmm. looked at it. All right, point of order. I think you can leave it closed in triage, and then we'll talk about it closed. Yeah, but you want close. You want you want credit for closing it twice. No, I, my tool. <laughs> the tool I use to generate the highlights does not look at closed bugs. I suppose I should just fix that, and then have to. <laughs> Bye. All right, point of order versus tool of convenience. Um, sure. Yes. Great. Got to get those metrics in. I'm with Zach. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, yes. Hey, yay. I need to retire on all of these internet points I'm getting. Yeah, dude. I'm, if, if, inter points, if internet points mattered. All right. I probably wouldn't be burning them so much. All right. That sounds good. Uh, yeah. Uh, where are we at? Um, seven, five, six, eight. Merge modules don't extract or decompilation. Mm, this sounds like knock on stuff that we've been investigating for a customer and Bob's done the same thing to get credit for it. Right? Yeah. Cool. All right. Same. Ditto. Yes. That. Merge modules don't extract during decompilation. Boom. All right. 7570. ICE80. Package contains 64-bit foo, but template summer does not it contain until next 64. Oh, I remember this. This person was like, they wanted more detail than what ice 80 is giving them. Yep, I agree. It would be nice if that message was better and more specific to what Wix does, except it's a generic ice error. I wonder if we should like remove Wix from this number. I wonder if we could spit this out as just error ice 80 or change this to like MSI. Maybe we just do that. Change this to error MSI. I wonder if I, that's the thing to do. I don't know. Nobody's going to pay attention to that either, are they? It, um, yeah, it's not going to address the... Nice place. try, Rob. They're still going to blame you for it. Um, yeah. Except, I mean, they're not wrong. It'd be nice if this... All right, so the solution to this is quite simple. We need to re-implement all these ices inside Wix and not have them handed off to ices because ices are slow anyway and all that and all that. And that's just a very large task. So yes, that's the fix simple, to this. simple, apparently. I mean, it's straightforward work to okay. do. It's just a whole boatload of work to do um it's, but yeah it's a it's an iceberg worth of work yeah it's great because you anyway, see oh there's only a hundred of them and yet you're only seeing the stuff above the water line yeah so but the solution to this i think we can mark this up for grabs and just say yeah if someone wants to re-implement ice 80 inside wix that would be great because then we can suppress ICE 80, which we do with some ICEs. We have a couple that we feel we have yeah. re-implemented them completely. Not many, like two maybe. Um, but oh, that's the trick is if you feel like you have implemented ICE 80 as an error check inside Wix, which would definitely be possible, um, then yeah, that would be great. So we implement this, re-implement ICE 80 inside Wix, and then we suppress ICE 80. Or we don't because it should never happen. Um, unless it's a warning. No, mm, no, that's, yeah, this is definitely an error. Um, so then, yeah, anyway, that's the solution. Re-implement ICE. Re-implement the ICE inside Wix, and then we'll get a nice, clean, awesome error message, and we will stop running this ICE 80, and eventually we stop running all ICEs because Wix checks them all, and Wix is that much faster because, oh my gosh, is validation slow for our build. And there's, like Bob said, there's only like 100 and some of them, but note that some of them do like 30 checks and some of those checks aren't documented. So it's not a trivial amount of work to go do all that, but it would be fantastic if someone want to start knocking those off. That would be awesome. All right, moving on. This is actually going much smoother than I was afraid it would go. All right, 7572, page not found. Uh, are we just missing a redirect? Oh, someone's pointing at an old, hmm, some old page. We should add a redirect for that probably. Who knows if there's more out there that point to it? Yeah. We Why should... don't we know? Huh? How many people point to that link? Uh, don't. Don't we get 404 reports? 
I assume that's what this is. This I is, mean, yeah. On wixelset.org. Yeah. Is there no logging of Boroboros? Oh, I'd have to look. There might be. Probably. I, sorry. I, in, in the olden days when I, you know, hosted my blog on a, you know, Linux box, yeah. it was easy to get the, uh, the error logging. Yeah, I'd have to go check if it's all wired in. It's the it's the the benefits of an SPA kind of thing. Um, keep a track of all that. Anyway, it's like it's possible. The benefits of an SPA. Sorry, wow, you that are was such a no. Uh, did you not hear the sarcasm in that one? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't tell the difference when it comes to web development. <laughs> that's all bad. Anyway, um, yeah. So we probably should add a redirect for that. Just right. like I I do agree that. with Blair that. They should maybe update their link, but this is probably old. I don't know how old that yeah. is. Could be really old, and it's like, yeah, fine. We should upgrade. Oh, you're going to take? All right, great. Awesome. Fantastic. 7574 Wix MSI decompile removes modularization goods from object fields. That's a bad thing. Related to my other report. Um, currently, you decompile a merge module. You do not get files from the file table. You do get object fields like Interesting. binaries okay but uh, at some point someone and i'm not going to name a name even though i know who it is it's not me um it's removes me. the yeah removes the uh the modularization good that would normally form the the file name and, and that's currently hard -coded. oh if you have two things with the same name with different goods or yep. no good. Yeah. Say so. a say a a binary containing a custom action. Okay. And it's called ca.dll or something and good one well, good two. Actually the the worst case scenario was two different versions of say a Wix custom action DLL. One different of which versions. had a okay. uh, Wix Wix three seven and Wix 311 uh, and Wix 314. Hurts. Yeah, my head hurts. Okay. Well, this this was the whole basis of of you know prefixing all of the IDs in Wix 4. Uh, right. All right. Anyway, yes, yes, it makes sense that that could happen. Over overzealous cleanup of prettiness and light and kind of. Well, the other thing. This is why we can't I, have nice things. This. Is that the reason? Um, the as I mentioned, the there, there's nothing like that done on the files that are extracted from the cabs. Oh, okay. They're not being extracted, but if they were, <laughs> they too would have this problem. No, they would have the modularization. Oh, oh, oh. Do it. they would still have. Okay. So it would be really inconsistent. Very inconsistent. Yeah. Well, they yeah. were being extracted, so nobody noticed. All right. Anyway, yeah. um, edge cases with the decompiler that need more. Um, Test cases and then fixes. Yep. I got the with, other one with fixed. merge modules. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. All right. To be clear, um, now <coughs> is this behavior given the fact that we're not extracting files and no one other than me reported it, and no one has reported this one? Would adding the modularization goods back be a breaking change? No, we just have to fix it. Yeah, we just fix okay. it. I mean, decompilation is decompilation, right? It's like, all right, now you have this. Now you have to go work with it. Theoretically. <laughs> we do not give you perfect stuff back, but yeah. All right. All right. Uh, wow, that went much smoother than I thought. I thought there's going to be a lot more in here. I thought there's going to be a lot more in here. All right. Cool. Um, that's triage. That, I think, is triage. All right, cool. So let's go back here. Let's talk about the thing that I'm looking at tackling for uh, Wix 5 um, in the time that we have. Uh, this is actually an idea I had quite a while ago. Um, and when I was thinking, oh, I could get this in Wix 4 quite a while ago, uh, Bob reminded me that um, it was more work and we probably needed to just finish Wix 4. So I let it go. Um, and so we have in burn in Wix 4 the ability to do uh, BAs, and we had it in Wix 3, we have it in Wix 4, where the uh, burn engine will load 
DLLs or load uh, managed code, it will host the .NET framework. And in Wix 4, it will host .NET Core to then load your DLLs and load them all up into a burn process that will host it. And the XE that you have for uh, your burn BA is a burn XE that's then talking to another burn XE and it's doing all this work to communicate them so that you just write a little DLL, it gets loaded into uh, the burn host XE, and then we go off and run all of it. And the original design of this was that because burn was um, extracting your files, it would be able to load them quicker and have all this with splash screens and things like that work out so that we could try to get your UI in burn loading even faster. And what I realized over time after kind of sitting and evaluating it is that when we implemented the clean room to solve the security issue where you could have a malicious Windows, a fake Windows DLL like version.dll in your downloads folder, if you launched the bundle in there, it could get loaded by all this UI code. So we had to create the clean room, which would put all the UI related stuff into a separate directory that was then not a target of uh, DLL hijacking and all that work, if you guys remember way back when, all that work basically removed all the benefits of the loading the BAs in proc with the splash screen and all that kind of stuff. All the wins that we were trying to get there were all gone because we had to extract everything to another folder anyway and load it all up. And so it's like, ah, that's unfortunate. Now, we kept this model and there wasn't any major reason to change things, change, you know, burn being the thing to load and all that kind of stuff, especially not that time because it was targeted just solving the DLL hijack problem. Um, but what I came to realize is that uh, you were limited to the languages that we uh, support that our burn XE could load, which basically turned into native Windows code with uh, C DLL entry points or managed code uh, for the .NET frameworks that we supported, um, like .NET Framework in Wix 3, but then lots of work done in .NET Core, uh, or dot, in Wix 4 to handle .NET Core. And I still use the word .NET Core, even though I know it's called .NET, but I have to differentiate between .NET Framework and .NET Core. So uh, that's why I still call it .NET Core for these conversations. Um, to load .NET Core in Wix 4. Um, but you can't do it in other languages that you might want to do, um, whatever those might be. Uh, you know, I was joking around because it bugs Bob. I'm like, hey, maybe you could write one in Node and have your entire Wix BA be written in Node. Not that that, I don't know that makes any sense at all, but it was the ability, the design to be able to do that. Why were we limiting that um, if we just changed a couple things? After Wix 4 shipped, um, came to understand some of the .NET Core limitations around uh, trimming and self-contained deployments and some limitations in the way that .NET Core gets hosted in um, Burn that I think we're going to learn more and more in Wix 4 basically says that even in .NET Core, given how different it is from .NET Framework, which actually was a pretty simple hosting model and you got all the benefits of the .NET Framework, there are limitations for uh, in the way that uh, .NET Core hosting supports. The .NET Core team did a lot of work um, with Sean in Wix4 to enable a bunch of scenarios, but there's a couple things that um, are not truly supported, particularly around the self-contained and trimming scenarios, which I think are gonna turn out to be bigger and bigger issues if .NET Core continues to make improvements on trimming, uh, especially in WinForms and maybe WPF, but how they do that, I don't know. But as they make improvements there, that's gonna be how you get your WinForms .NET Core based UIs down from hundreds and hundreds of megabytes or 100 megabytes down to something closer to maybe 40, maybe 20 if they get really good. Anyway, something much better than hundreds um, or in the hundred and WPF is bigger. Like So anyway, trimming I think is gonna become a bigger thing. Uh, self-contained, sorry, not self-contained, um, ahead of time compiled. I mean, it feels like self-contained. Is there a word I'm missing? Um, anyway, ahead of time compiled, trimming, uh, single file deployments, all those kind of things, I think are gonna become more and more important. So the idea in Wix 5 is to implement the feature that got bumped out of Wix 4, um, which was the right thing to get things done, and to move BAs to become out of process things. So instead of us having a burn XE that then hosts a DLL, 
burn extracts the BA to a directory, just like clean room, for the exact same reasons as clean room, to protect it from DLL hijacking. And then it launches an exe of the, the BA as an exe. And then we have a communication channel between burn and that exe that is essentially the same as what it works today. And the whole system then runs almost identically. The difference is that uh, the producer of the BA's XE is in control instead of burn being the XE at the front. Uh, plus there's other things now that come to mind of like a DPI support is defined in the XE um, and other goofy things. So it's like, it won't be our XE running the UI anymore. It'll be the BA XE. And we will build the things in Wix such that if you have a DLL, um, it'll be mostly the same, but now it won't have to be the burn XE that's loosely everything. And if you want to write your own XE that then communicate to burn, that design of how they communicate back and forth is not completely decided whether it's a named pipe or if it we can maybe do this over standard in, standard out. That's an experimentation have to do. I like the idea of standard in, out, standard in, standard out because there's a lot more languages that support communication over standard in, standard out than uh, dealing with named pipes on Windows. Anyway, I have to figure out that communication thing. That's probably the biggest work item is to pick that communication protocol and make it work between somebody else's XE and now what is just the burn engine. Huh. All of this will allow us to then get out of the business of whatever the BA is written in. The BA will now just be an XE. It will run. It will have a communication channel to the burn engine, which is essentially identical to the communication protocol, the communication that burn talks to itself between itself and the BA, which already existed. It's just a matter of hooking that up. And then poof, your BA is running. So in the end, there will not be a lot of changes unless you've written your own custom BA. But if you've written a custom BA using the uh, standard mechanism provided by Wix, which means a DLL or a .NET Framework or .NET Core, we're going to probably see things that make it almost identical for your code to work there. You may just have to create an XE, change your DLL to an XE, and then call an entry point to say, hey, communicate to burn kind of thing. That's my thinking. Um, and then the rest of your BA is the same. Uh, and then if you want to write it in another language, like Zach says, how about Lisp? You could, as long as you can get that initial communication connection <laughs> or Bob's favorite Python, um, or, you know, or whatever. So the idea is that this will unlock, this will get us out of forcing the XE and all the other process, because honestly, since the clean room, there's no, uh, since the creation of the introduction of the clean room, for security purposes, we have to extract an entire thing and launch an XE inside the clean room. So let's just let it be your XE instead of our XE, and then the whole system will work on top of it. So that's the out of proc BA. The end result, I hope inside, I mean, in burn, it's gonna be the reduction of code um, because there'll be a lot less of the UI um, isms in it, I think. A lot of that will just turn into a library that you call into. Um, the splash screen handling, we already have to do um, out of proc because the you know the first XE, the burn XE, shows that and it hands it off to the BA XE anyway. So we'll have ways of handling all that. So basically, all the, a lot of those problems are already tackled because of clean room way back when. So now we just have to do the same thing and provide a library on the other side for the languages that we do support. Probably still see. Uh, .NET Framework and .NET Core. And then if you write it in Lisp, well, then you'll have to write the thing that write talks Lisp over whatever communication protocol is decided to talk these things, for example, or Python. We're not gonna provide bindings for all those out of proc things, but they should be relatively straightforward for someone else to do it in a language that can talk over uh, to cross process. And it'll either be standard and standard out, which is my ideal, because most things can do that, but there's weird side effects with that, especially on Windows, so I have to test that, or a name pipe, which I know is harder for some languages that are not do not have Windows specific bindings, um, but we know that works because that's what Burn has been using to talk to itself. All right, so that's kind of the high overview of this. Need to do, I haven't written the whip because I need to just do a couple experiments um, on some of that pipe stuff so I have a better grounding in what I can and can't do through standard and standard out. Um, because I really want to try to do that because I know that works better for more languages than not. I think that's probably the big investigation. After that, it'll be just refactoring code to make things work and then try to have relatively minimal disruption to anybody that has a custom VA. Um, 
So that's the Wix 5 feature that I'm looking at implementing over the next six-ish months, or five-ish months, actually, um, as we go towards the end of the year. So did that cover it? Did I miss anything, Bob? From features from antiquity? No, I think you got it. Yeah, all right. It's, it's in general, doing stuff out of proc lets us target more languages without needing to do a bunch of yeah. extra work. And if you've never written a custom BA, then this is entirely pointless for you, which I appreciate. This is a feature that'll be completely invisible. You'll never know it's there and it, it won't. But if you've written a custom BA, uh, then hopefully you'll get more options. And if you've been prevented from writing a custom BA in your language of choice, hopefully this enables you to finally do that. So. Questions, comments, things people want to talk about uh, this week before we look at the schedule, or as I look at the schedule going forward. Uh, hey, next Tuesday would have been July 4th, so we will dodge that holiday, which means I think we're looking at July 11th. Does that sound right? Since I messed up my calendar math on today, Bob's double-checking me. He said nothing, so I'm going to guess that I got it right. That or he's oh, just snickering back I was just joking, uh, joking in my head about it being 7-11. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. All right, everybody bring Slurpees next meeting. Um, that's what they have at 7-Eleven, right? I haven't been to 7-Eleven. Yeah. I don't even know how long. I think it's they have the Slurpees, right? Yeah, okay. All right. Not a lot of questions out there. I think I've delayed. Um, so Bob and I have covered the things that we're looking at. Bob continues his quest of language simplifications with a set of things that he wants to tackle in Wix uh, 5, and I'm going to tackle this out of proc burn thing um, to enable, clean up a lot of our scenarios uh, on burn 5. If there are things, big features you want to talk about for Wix 5, let's bring a whip or bring a conversation or send it here. If you want to show up in this meeting to talk about it, we could talk about making that kind of thing happen. Um, but it's kind of, you know, yeah, it's kind of time to think. If you want to do something in Waste 5, that's great. If not, well, then very happy to have all of you in chat, all of you watching, keeping track of the things that are going on, the bugs that are getting fixed, the issues that are being put out for other people to fix if they want to, and uh, progress is being made. And the again, the goal with Wix 5 is to be out in a year, which is why you're going to see uh, smaller things and less, I mean, maybe less ambitious. They feel less ambitious to me, but I think it's just, it's just one thing. I'm... It's, it's fewer things. It's fewer things. Well, I, I get to pick one thing instead of going, oh, we could do these five things. Like, no, you pick one thing and then we do a release. That's essentially what you're seeing. That's the feeling. I feel very restricted, but it's probably the right thing. Bob has convinced me it's the right thing. So it's probably the right thing. It's, it only, it, it feels weird because we're way too used to having gears to do things. Yeah. Yeah. 10 year major releases. Well, Let's agree that that was a mistake in general. Uh, I don't think I disagree. All right. More focused. Yeah, well, it's not just more focused. It's just less. Let me, let's say, different. you know, the axiom is you get to pick from two of the three things. Yeah. When you release, the quality that you release, and the timeline that you release. If we yep. choose to fix the timeline to a year to kind of feel like things are kind of moving along, and we do not want the quality of Wix to degrade over time, which I think we all agree, then the feature list has to be less. Maybe that's more focused. To me, it's not focused. It's just uh, self-imposed limits. It, in my So the way I think about it is we're still shipping the same five features. It's just you know, going to take us the same amount of time it would have taken us if we would tried to push them all into one release. Yeah, right. Maybe that makes the features more focused and Zach has a point. But however you want to say it, that's what we're doing here. Um, you're welcome to join us. Uh, always happy. It was great, actually, you know, Wix 401, we had a number of people fix bugs. That was great. Um, could they do more bugs in that thing? That would be cool. Um, and that's what we have right now, all right, I feel like I filled enough space. To give time people to chat. Zach has already commented, so I think he's had enough time to think and write something down, which is great. We'll be back on 7 11 2023. 7 11 23. Mm, that doesn't roll off the tongue anyway. All right, 7 11, July 11th. Hope all of you have a wonderful fourth for those of you that do that kind of thing here. And uh, two weeks. That's all I got, Bob. You done? I'm done. All right. We'll see you guys in two weeks. Later. Bye. Bye.